So, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And I thought I'd do a video on an update to the Caldwell chronograph. Now, this chronograph, now I've used it all maybe about eight times now, and it has served very well. Hasn't let me down. It's been very handy. This carrying case is neat to take to the range because you put this strap around your neck under your arm and it doesn't take up any space as you're moving stuff to the range. Now the best way to pack the chronograph is by putting the sky screens with the rods facing each other so there's no chance of the rods snagging the carrying bag or causing some wear and tear on the carrying bag because it's on the bottom so what you got here is the smooth side of the sunscreen is facing outward and also the smooth side is facing inward toward the chronograph so the rods don't damage your chronograph then the cord that is used to connect your electronic device with the chronograph is best put into the scallop section. You see the scallop section here? It's got a curve. So when you're packing it, that cord sits right in that scallop section. So it's kind of like fits right in there. Now, the extra battery compartment came in handy because one thing about this is that it's possible that as you're putting the chronograph into the bag that you accidentally turn the unit on as you're sliding it into the bag. If that happens, what happens is when you come to use your chronograph the next time out, the battery will be dead. So you need to make sure that it's in the off position as you carefully slide it into the bag so you don't accidentally put it into the on position. And if you do that, you'll be okay. This chronograph has done very well at the range. It's unobtrusive. It doesn't cause any problem for other shooters on the range. It's accurate. And when you couple it with an electronic device like an iPad, works very well, maintains all of your data. You can enter all the pertinent information. You can take a photo of your group. All those things are very handy. But I need to also report to you that what happened was this chronograph was dropped and it landed right on its end like this from about three feet fall with a big thunk. And I thought for sure that the chronograph was gonna be broken out of commission and it wouldn't have surprised me if it was broken, but it survived that very well. So the plastic case and the components inside are pretty tough. I wouldn't recommend a constant diet of drops though. So shooters and reloaders out there, for about $90, this is a good chronograph that'll serve you well. So if you're looking for a chronograph, this isn't a bad one to get. And by the way, you don't need to get the deluxe version that comes with a tripod because the tripod's worthless. And all the other gadgets that come with it is really not necessary. So all you need is this one for about $90 instead of the deluxe one for what was $145, $150. So anyway, uh, there you go. Good shooting to you and good chronographing to you. Bye for now.